We've got 16 races in the book in this 2012 Sprint Cup Series season. And what that means, we are now officially in the 10 races that we call the race to the chase. 10 races to go before we will truly know what 12 drivers will go after this championship in 2012. And when you look at these next 10 races, a very diverse group of tracks. We go to Kentucky Speedway this week. We still got to go back to Pocono. We've got a road course. Oh, by the way, there was a restrictor plate race at Daytona in a couple of weeks. And then we've got a couple of short tracks, so so much can happen as far as these next 10 races to shake up this point situation. Now, honestly, when I look at Matt Kenseth, who's leading the points, all the way back to Clint Boyer in seventh, who, of course, won the Sonoma race this week, feel pretty good about those seven drivers because Clint Boyer is in seventh, and he's 50 points in front of Carl Edwards, who's back in 11th. 50 points, that's one full race with 10 races to go. Drivers I'm a little concerned about, still they've not found victory lane after 16 races, Carl Edwards. I know he's only a handful of points out of the top 10, but right now he doesn't even look like he's getting close to getting to victory lane. Most notably, Jeff Gordon. Again, possibly looked like he had a car that could win the race at Sonoma. He moved up into points, but still looking for victory lane. And the one guy outside the top 10 that has a win that I'm a little nervous about Ryan Newman. He's in that contract year. He has that win at Martinsville, but since that win at Martinsville, he does not even have a top 10 finish. But I promise you, we'll do this again in a few weeks, and the story will probably change several times before this chase actually starts. Hey, everybody. Listen up. Listen up, guys. Hey, guys. Listen, listen up. up. No one should ever hit a woman. Not their wife, not their girlfriend, not their date. No woman should have to fear violence, especially not from someone they know and trust. It's up to us, because even one is too many. Violence against women hurts all of us. We all have to take responsibility, so step up and speak out. Because one is too many.